What's up guys? I am just feeling inspired today to bring you guys another video. So today we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a brief overview, a buying guide for Levi's jeans, specifically the 501, but this applies to pretty much any vintage or modern pair that you might want. But before we get into it, if you enjoy this type of content, you enjoy vintage clothing, please subscribe to the channel. I do enjoy making these videos and I wanna grow a lot more on here. So drop a like, subscribe below. All right, so we are going to stop, start with the cheapest pairs and work our way all the way up to the most expensive pairs. Um, so cheapest pair we're gonna go with is going to be just a 2000s pair or a modern pair if you buy them pre-owned. Let's see the tag, all the little details. These ones are the worst in terms of like quality and uh, yeah, I mean, you can get these at pretty much any thrift store. I would not, if you want to get into like vintage denim, I would say not to buy these because they're just not vintage. But if you just want a cheap pair of pants, you want to get the style for the low low, definitely consider these. I sell these for like $20 plus shipping. And uh, when I get bored of seeing them around, I drop the price down to $10 plus shipping. So it comes out to under $20. Like I said, you can thrift these pretty easily and uh, eBay, you can probably get them for like around $20. So yeah, not much more to say about these. The one thing I want to touch on is if you're buying any pair of jeans, unless you want a dark wash, like a raw indigo, buy a pre-owned or vintage version. If you want distressed jeans, don't buy pre-distressed jeans. Buy a pair that have been naturally worn in because the way they make jeans is horrible for the environment, specifically like light wash jeans, because the way they get the wash is every pair of jeans starts as a really dark, raw, deep indigo, and then they run it through the wash cycle over and over again, or they put chemicals in there to wash it down. And like, in my personal opinion, pre-distressed jeans that they use like a laser to do, those look awful. So definitely buy vintage if you want more of that worn in aesthetic because it's all gonna be natural wear so our next step up from the 2000s pairs are going to be your 80s and 90s non selvage pairs i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys pretty much all of my pairs are like packed up already because i'm leaving to go to the rose bowl today i will have a vlog for you guys it's either gonna post after this video or before this video who knows um but yeah just your run-of-the-mill made in usa levi's honestly these if you just want to get into vintage denim probably the best starting place because they are affordable for the most part you're going to be able to buy these for around the same price as you would just a new pair of levi's and the quality on these is going to be way way better than those um yeah i will say this though if you want to build up a denim collection like start with these yes but uh you're gonna get to a point where it's probably more worth it to buy something a little bit better if you really start getting into denim but like i said i started with these you can thrift them moderately easy it's like way harder than it used to be um but you can buy them i sell them for like 501s are usually gonna run you $65 plus shipping on my website. So $73 if you're in the US. Um, you can find them for around that on eBay. You can find them at the fleas for probably around $40 if you don't wanna buy them off of me or anybody else. Um, but yeah, basically they're gonna run you probably between about 40 and 80 to $100 for just a run of the mill made in US pair quality is good on these especially compared to more modern pairs and yeah i recommend these if you're on a budget but you want a good pair of jeans definitely consider buying a pair of 80s to 90s made in usa levi's all right so our next step up we're gonna have to play pretend for our next step up is going to be a pair of red lines or selvage levi's from the 70s to the 80s, this is my 50s pair. Um, my personal pair of red lines, I already have packed up, but these are great. 
I would say this is probably my recommendation for most people. If you're interested in fashion or vintage Levi's, I would definitely say to pick up a pair of red lines. They are gonna be more on the pricey end for denim. Uh, it's a good introduction, I would say, to selvage denim. You can find them for between $100 and like $300 for just like a worn in pair or like a light wash pair or whatever. The darker washes are gonna cost you a little bit more because they're more sought after. But I would say that they're definitely worth it because you have to, the way I think of it is if you were gonna buy like three just like blue, indigo, worn in, whatever, pairs of 80s or 90s Levi's that's going to be about the same price as one pair of red lines and I will say this you will wear the red lines every single day once you buy them if you like them obviously but in my experience I wear them every single day even like pair, even now that I have biggies I'll wear red lines all the time great pairs a lot of people have this misconception about Levi's that they are super durable super thick they're actually on the thinner side, so I, like your Selvage Levi's are gonna be super, super soft. Obviously I can't show you, but these are super, super soft. Um, yeah, I can't recommend them enough. Plus you get to flex when you throw the cuff that they are Selvage. But the quality on those pairs versus even just your 80s and 90s made in US pairs, the quality drop off is huge. That is the main reason why I recommend them. Obviously, they're gonna be out of some people's budgets, which is totally fine. You can snag a steal on them. The one thing I will say with them though, is if you wanna go for a darker wash or you want like a raw pair to wear in, don't go the red line or big E route because those pairs are gonna cost you so much more than just going and buying a quality repro. Personally, my dead stock pair are sugar cane. I like them, they wear in pretty well. Um, Besides that, I think LVC quality is pretty awful. And Capital, like you could go Capital, you could go whatever. There's a ton of Japanese brands. I would definitely recommend them over an LVC or buying a vintage pair that is dead stock if you don't have it like that. And you can find them on sale pretty easily or you can find them for good deals on eBay. Like my pair of sugar canes was like $90 on eBay, brand new with tags and everything. Slightly used pairs are gonna run you like $100. If you want a deep indigo, go that route. If you want something more worn in, a medium wash or something like that, go the red line route. All right, so we are going to finish off the video with the heavy hitters, the Big E era and earlier. Um, yeah, I think if you're watching this video to this point, you probably, and you need to know about Big E's, there are some things I wanna let you know before you get into it. People who actually buy them probably not watching this video or have bought them before. Um, so I'm trying not, I'm gonna try my best not to come off as super pretentious or anything, but I will say a lot of people who get into buying biggies or that I've been seeing getting into buying biggies lately don't do enough research because there's a lot of stuff you need to go into when you're buying a pair of biggies as far as the value goes. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna go into it too, too much. I'm just gonna say you need to understand that there are a lot of factors that go into the pricing of biggies, and it's not just the fact that they're biggies because you'll see pairs for $200, you'll see pairs for $100,000. What makes one worth more than the other? Obviously the age has to do with it, the size has to do with it, and the how dark they are, how clean they are has to do with it. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting into buying biggies basically if you don't know what I'm talking about already. Just basically, you want a men's size, which would be like a 30 and up. You want uh, it to be cleaner rather than more thrashed up. The value on that, there's, there's like a weird, I don't know, it's too much to explain. Basically in Japan, you want the cleaner versions of America, people will buy the thrashed up versions more. That's as simply put as I can put it. Um, let's see, what else should you know? You can find them cheaper than people put them up for. Me, when I have them in stock, I have people who want biggies. So I price them at about market price. I would say a fair market price. I don't try to tax people too much. I would just be wary of people who are putting up like a size 29, late 70s pair for $1,000. That pair is not worth that. Um, yeah. 
basically you just kind of have to be aware there are some people who are going to think that their stuff is worth way more than it actually is and I wouldn't pay up for those because I do see a lot of people who see my videos or see you know other people buying Biggie Levi's and think oh just because they're a pair of Biggie's that they're worth that it's not always the case is what I'm trying to get the point I'm trying to get across and if you don't know what they're worth and you don't know what factors into what they're worth then I would personally stay away from them. I think that buying a pair of red lines would be way better for you. Um, but yeah, do your research before you buy a pair because $600 for the base pair of biggies is a pretty substantial investment, uh, even for myself and I collect them, obviously. Like I, I don't even think I've spent 600 on a pair of biggies. So yeah. That's just the number one thing I want to get across to you. You have to do your research before you get into them. Don't just buy them because someone told you to buy them. That goes for everything, but especially stuff that's going to run you that much. If you want a general pricing breakdown, I would say you would be fine paying between 350 ish at the low end to 600 at the high end for your 60s biggies. 800 to over a thousand for a pair of rivets is pretty reasonable in my personal opinion and anything older than that is going to run you significantly more and you're probably not watching this video if you're interested in buying those so i'm not even going to go into that i don't even have a pair of those but yeah basically just know what they're worth before you buy them and don't have unrealistic expectations when you sell them because you don't want to put yourself in a position where you spent like $1,000 on a pair of jeans that's only worth $400, I guess, is what I'm trying to get out here. Thank you guys for watching, though. If this video helped you, please subscribe to the channel, drop a like. If you're looking for a pair of vintage Levi's, I do have a ton of pairs, probably like 150 pairs, linked down below on my website. Um, it is down right now. If I post this video during Rose Bowl, it's going to be down just because... I'm selling everything for good deals at the Rose Bowl. So, yeah. Anyway, have a great day.